Hey everybody, it's the Live Music Showcase, and that's right, we're coming to you live from WMNF in Tampa, FLA. I'm Bill Dudley, I'll be your host today, <clears throat> and on the show today we got the Joe Milligan Project, and uh, they're going to be doing some good rock and folk-influenced Americana, for want of a better title. You know, it's hard to classify things like this. These guys are really good, though. I think you're going to enjoy them. Let's let them start off with a song. What's this going to be? we start off with a song called uh, House on Fire. <laughs> Inspired by a uh, house I watched burn down as I drove across the Midwest. And he uh, wrote a couple of verses, turned into a country song. And in the last verse, I figured I either had to put a, add a woman or a truck to the song, so I added a woman. <laughs> so it's called House on Fire. That's a nice one to start off with, y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Joe Milligan Project, our guest on today's live music showcase. 
Hey Joe, welcome to WMNF. Welcome back, I should say. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's you've been on. Be uh, you've been on at least once before, and maybe maybe twice. Yeah, I've been on Pete's show a few times, and yeah. a couple other Jamie Hilton. Pete's Saturday morning show. Well, yeah, just right. You're just right for that show too. Yeah. <coughs> Why don't you introduce the folks you brought with you today sure. here? On uh, guitar to my left here is Douglas Lichterman. Uh, Doug has been playing with us for a few years. Um, on violin is Rebecca Zapin, and she's always been kind enough to sit in as a, as a guest with us. Hello. And uh, on vocals is Mandy Frick. And this uh, gentleman here is Russell Roush on the bass. And uh, back there, hidden, is uh, in the Bill hidden. In the cage. It's in Bill deep Bill deep in the drum booth there. <laughs> and that's, uh, <coughs> that's Bill... Right, Bill? Le Grandier. Le Grandier. Yeah. Great. Well, the Joe Milligan Project. You can uh, see us live on Facebook. Uh, at Go to Facebook.com. Put in L-M-S-W-M-N-F. You can see what these folks look like and uh, enjoy the music and the sights. And as of uh, maybe later on tonight or tomorrow, we will have our show also on our YouTube channel. And you can watch it. Just go to YouTube, type in uh, Live Music Showcase, WMNF, and you'll, you'll see we've got like the last three years of videos of this show. Some killer shows on there, too. So, uh, yeah, if you uh, want to make a comment about this uh, today's show or any kind of questions you might have, just give a call to the uh, DJ line at WMNF 239-9663. That's area code 813. Anyway, we got the Joe Milligan Project. Let's have another song. All right. We're gonna do a song called "Alligator Shoes," and the um, <laughs> song is alternatively a uh, an ode to E.O. Wilson, who is a uh, environmentalist. And uh, my son Patrick and uh, uh, introduced me to E.O. Wilson, um, to his uh, work. And uh, by the way, I'd like to send out a happy birthday to him. His birthday was yesterday. Oh, great! And happy birthday! Uh, he was responsible for, uh, mm. really partially responsible for this uh, song. This is a song that we recorded. We sent a video to. Uh, Paul Simon, he did a uh, tribute show for um, uh, E.O. Wilson to uh, generate some money for a, a program of his. And uh, I like to tell people I sent it because I, I heard a, a story from Carol King that when she was in high school, she said that she asked uh, Paul Simon that if he, wa if he wanted to co-write something with her, and he said that he wasn't much of a lyricist, that he would pass on that. So <laughs> <laughs> I figured maybe if he still suffered from that same insecurity, he would cover this for the... Uh, E.O. Wilson project, but but he did not. But we're going to do it anyway. It's called Alligator Shoes. Well, I know they, they can't see it feels like they're selling me all the houses in the hills. Why don't know about a home? They replaced the corn match too. Got weed all over. They got both their sun body and total the road. Brought on by the heavy load on it, something.
holy man When I'm done with you, you will Understand from where the real holy water flows And why the scrub jay dies How some things in life are maintained By an occasional fire You'll have the old Wilson on your bookshelf Pushing up books about building wealth And how to get yourself all unconfused You'll wear a t-shirt that says Quit taking up space on the people like Einstein Should be the train Hey, what's a deal with those alligators? Nice job, guys. Thank you very much. It's the Joe Milligan Project, our guest on today's live music showcase here from WMNF in Tampa. Watch us live on Facebook at LMS WMNF. We'd like to uh, thank everybody who's helping out with the show today, all our great volunteers on the live music showcase. We've got Mark Perfetti doing the mixing today, our mixographer today at the controls. He's assisted today by... uh, by Richard Stone, and Richard is also our YouTube producer. He'll have us up on YouTube a little later on this evening or tomorrow morning at the very latest. So <coughs> thanks to Richard for helping out. We've got uh, our, our video crew. As I said, you can watch us live on Facebook or YouTube later on. We've got <coughs> Bob Hoke directing this video portion of the show. And uh, on cameras, we have Tom and Marcy Connors and Larry Lockdown doing a great job today. So that's our live music showcase from WMNF. So, Joe, how about telling us a little bit about how this band and, and your picking and singing came to be? The, um, I'd actually, I, I started to play guitar probably when I was around seven or eight years old, and I played maybe until my late teens, 20, for whatever reason. <laughs> well, for stopped. whatever reason I, you stopped. I, I stopped, and uh, I probably didn't do anything for about 25 years. Fortunate enough, I, I ran into an old friend of mine who wound up playing professionally, and he encouraged me to uh, to pick it up again. You had a job, job. Of a job, yeah. And he, uh, the, um, so I, I started to write some things, and uh, I met Bill Legrandier and uh, Chris Horman at the bunker, and I wanted to do a rather stripped down album of just very acoustic things with Chris. And then uh, he said, "Well, how about Bill?" And I said, "Yeah." And then how about Russell? <laughs> and uh, pretty soon we had a band, and uh, we were going to, we hadn't played out any place yet, and those guys were going to want to play one night at the uh, singer-songwriter at the bunker. And somebody said, well, how do we sign in? And I think Bill said, Joe Milligan Project, so that's, that's, <laughs> that's what it became. And then uh, Chris, Chris died a few years ago, and uh, Douglas came to join us after that. And, uh, On lead guitar. Yeah. yeah. Well, it sounds great. And <laughs> you've got an album. Uh, I'll hold it up to the microphone here. <laughs> Joe Milligan Project Anticipation. This came out uh, a couple of years ago, years ago. and uh, got a lot of good songs on it. And you have a website where people can find out more about you? Correct. It's just the Joe Milligan Project. The yeah. Joe Milligan Project. All right. Good job. Dot com. Dot com. Dot com. Dot com. Okay, good. Yeah, that's important. <coughs> And Rebecca just appeared from the mist. <coughs> from the mist, I would yeah. say, yeah. <laughs> She's on that CD. <laughs> she is. She is. Well, uh, let's have another song. Sure. I'm do a song here called uh, Shooting Star, and the idea for this song came to me actually from a Randy Newman song. Randy Newman has a song called uh, I Miss You, which he said is a song that is a love song that he said he wrote to his first wife while he was married to his second wife, um, and that the <laughs> as you li- yes, uh, there's as he, a story there. As he said, in some in some respects, it was an exercise of how many people he could hurt at the same time. But I don't think he literally <laughs> meant that. 
But in any event, the the, the short and long of that song was is, is that um, he, what plays out in the song is, is that it had been 20 years since they had um, seen each other, um, and that he said at the end of the song is, is that he, he wanted her to know, um, he said, I still love you. So the uh, idea came to me was is to sort of reunite these people in a place where, I think there's a line he used, he said, they're separated by time and distance, and I figured, well, we would do away with time and distance and bring them together. So uh, <laughs> this is uh, basically a song about these, with that idea of uh, the ambiguity of things. So this is called Shooting Star. Invisible someday be seen, the astonishingly small it will be weighed. I know we both agree, what we see will disappear, gone tomorrow was here today. I know we both agree. It's an unsolved mystery The shifting moods that you have But I want you to know 
that I still love you too. I want you to know that I still Pretty one there from the Joe Milligan Project, our guest on today's live music showcase from WMNF Community Radio in Tampa, where support comes from our members and Happy Feet Plus, a locally owned full service footwear store featuring Birkenstock, Kenco massage sandals, and many other name brands. Happy Feet Plus offers footwear fashion to provide relief to people with foot, leg, knee, and back pain styles and selections at happyfeet.com well the joe milligan project are here is here am here in our studios and uh we've got uh, joe on the guitar and the voice doug douglas on lead guitar we got russell on bass bill on <coughs> drums mandy on the backing and lead vocals and uh, rebecca zapin uh sitting in here on the fiddle so where do these songs come from? That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should ask, what are you trying to say? <laughs> I don't know. People ask, you know, who, who is this guy and why is he doing this? So it's, it's the, um, I, I guess the, the uh, most succinct explanation, I think, is the, uh, and I think in any kind of expression, whether it be art or music or whatever, is just there's some... <coughs> intent I guess to connect with other people on some kind of uh, a universal level and I think you know the theme of that song is just sort of the ambiguity that life is not uh, it's not cut and dry it's not clean and uh, I think they're the they're the type of things that you hope that people sort of resonate with have you been attracted always to kind of songs that are kind of on the outskirts on a little more complex than I, I, oh I, baby I, oh baby kind of songs yeah, that a lot of people I, write I think so so probably you know young person was attracted to things like uh, Jackson Brown and Bob Dylan and <laughs> Paul Simon. And, you know. Yeah. You grew up with that, with folky stuff? Yeah, I, I grew up in uh, um, Philadelphia in, in the, um, at that time we had two great radio stations there uh, and that they, and there was a, uh, a coffee house there called the Main Point and uh, people like, actually James Taylor would come through before he hit it big and play for an audience of 150 people and then they would have him in a studio like this on the radio, local radio station and uh, mm -hmm. so I would uh, I'd hear and they would play on a Sunday night that's when it was they would, they would, do, they would do two shows at this coffee house and then do a, a, sh a show at the radio station so I would listen you know this is this is before the internet I would listen to these guys on the radio and, and uh, so uh, yeah a lot of a lot of talent passed through that, that's yeah that was when uh, that was when radio played folk music absolutely back. That's a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> Showing your age there, Joe. <laughs> so, do you call this Americana? Do we? I guess so. For one of a, for one of a better <laughs> for one of a better title. Yeah, well, I think uh, it's easy to see, you know, right off the bat that Joe Joe is a deep thinker <coughs> when he uh, thinks about songs like this and. He can he can move from uh, the scene of a bullfight to the front lines of a war to to an intimate uh, conversation at a cafe table, uh, kind of effortlessly. And what's Americana? I mean, it's all based. Uh, all the people <coughs> you mentioned are are as American as you can get. Yeah. And uh, you know, it's proud. We're proud to be Americana. <laughs> I think that's a good way of putting. It. Well, let's have another song. All right. We're going to do a song here and let Mandy take the lead on this. We she's going to stand up and take the lead. I am. Um, I probably should be sitting down, though. It, it, in, the, in the age of uh, fake news and, and um, I guess, making things up, we, we could say that we wrote this one, too. Uh, I'm not so sure that we'll get away <laughs> with this. Well, <laughs> you can tell us when we're done whether you think we can pull that one off. I'd, I'd like to dedicate this to my son, Mitchell, um, who I've been singing this to since... Uh, he was in the original container. <laughs> 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 
Nice job, y'all. Thank you. Not exactly a lullaby. No. I think that was the original <laughs> intention of that. The Joe Milligan Project, our guest on today's live music <laughs> showcase. That's Mandy, Mandy Frick on backing and well on lead vocal on that tune. And really, really nice. I love the I love the fiddle break with <laughs> Rebecca Zapin. Yeah. And uh, that's uh, that's Doug Lichterman <coughs> on the lead guitar break too. Great little band, you guys. Thank you. Thanks, Bill. We're enjoying this. Joe Milligan Project, uh, just one of our great bands on Live Music Showcase. We do this every Friday afternoon, folks, from Community Radio, WMNF. You can be watching, watching, watching on Facebook. <coughs> just go type in LMS, WMNF. It'll get you there. And uh, you can even see last week's show if it's still hanging around. But all of our shows, going back at least three years are on our YouTube channel. And the way to find that is just go to YouTube and type in WMNF Live Music Showcase and you'll get it. And we've got some great shows, some really good ones. Plus some other uh, shows that, other live performances that from other shows that we put up there too. 
But today we have the Joe Milligan Project, and uh, they're here live in the Mike Eisenstadt Performance Studio at WMNF with Mark Perfetti doing the engineering, assisted by Richard Stone, Marcy and Tom Connors, Larry L Lockdown on cameras, and Bob Hoke doing the directing. And I've talked enough, so I'd love to hear another song. All right. We're going to do a song called uh, Friday Night. This is fairly recent. And I guess the only introduction that this needs is this is sort of a song about uh, coming to uh, grips with uh, recognizing that you're getting a little older. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what? Some of you getting older. We'll deny that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Said a Friday night, I can see the city light. From my porch, me trying to cross this big ball town. But I don't have the edge I used to have. Ought to see, I'll be seen, ought to have to make around. But baby, come Saturday, we can slip on a dance. Check it down at a pole hall You know me, not the kind of woman I lay. Daddy dishes ain't in a sink. I know that patience is a virtue. And good things come to those who wait. But you know, some things can wait till morning, and that's what I think. Ah, but other things that can't wait till the sun goes. Feelings I have once that just might stop coming around. Be alright. We look in the sink and we turn on the bright lights down. Tonight it'll be alright. We leave old dishes in the sink and we turn on the bright lights down. Everything that rises must converge. What's a woman's name that wrote that? Well, if you know who you are, well, you can go anywhere. Won't meet yourself coming and going in that hat. Yeah, she's the one you can read to me. As the curtains sway in a summer breeze, when we're through, I'll read anything you want me to read.
Yeah, good job there. Thank you. That's the Joe Milligan Project, folks. Our guests on today's Live Music Showcase. If you enjoy live music and this radio show, you <coughs> might want to consider making a contribution to Community Radio, WMNF, and that's easy to do. At WMNF.org, look for the tip jar and leave us a little tax-deductible contribution. We could really use the bucks, and it'll go a long way in helping us keep live music like this, uh, like these guys here on the air on a weekly basis. And we appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of great live music happening in the Tampa Bay area. Just as a general wor- rule, you should go out and hear some live music at least once a week, I think, right? Yeah. Absolutely. I do. And uh, speaking of which, is there some place people can come out and hear you all? We, we do... Um, Generally, do a lot of house concerts, uh-huh. and uh, which um, got a few things coming up after uh, the holidays. And you can generally find those. We'll post those on the site. And generally, the drill in house concerts is people try to, you know, want to maintain their, uh, for security reasons, their confidentiality. So we just don't we won't promote them that way. But if you go to the website, you can yeah you can, you can get the information on it. Right, right, and that's a great way to enjoy music. It's a great way to enjoy. I the love music. house concerts. They're, Great, uh, uh, just a great social event for people also. You know. Yeah, yeah. Definitely where it's at. The the Joe Milligan Project, or is it mm-hmm. JoeMilliganProject.com? The, the Joe Milligan Project. The Joe Milligan Project. That is it. Milligan is spelled M-I-L-L-I-G-A-N. Yeah. In case anybody, uh, it, it could be an Irish name. I Milligan? Think it, I think it, I think it is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> could be. It could be Scottish, but you don't want to tell the Irish that. Okay. <laughs> we, we also are open to... Talk to your mic there, ma'am. We are also open to contacting us on our website. If you're interested in booking us for a gig or house concert, please Great. contact us. Sounds good. TheJoeMilliganProject.com. What's coming up here? Um, we're going to do a song called uh, No Place for the Water to Go. In the, um, Ooh, Douglas, an ar- Douglas, environmental song? Douglas. Well, no, this is this is this is actually a, a non non environmental. <laughs> well, I guess it's a song I, about a bad environment. It could it could be <laughs> yeah. it could be environmental. Um, there's I guess a, a, a quick introduction maybe by uh, I guess there's a saying that uh, how do you go how do you go bankrupt slowly and then suddenly and I guess that that applies to uh, financial matters as well as moral matters or whatever. But in any event, how this song came about was uh, Douglas and I've been playing together for several years and we'd, we'd never written anything together and, and he had uh, given me some music and asked me to put some lyrics to it and it took forever and forever forever and then someone recounted to me a story about something and I sat down and uh, started to play this music that Douglas gave me and this, this came out and uh, kind of a little dark song but it's called No Place for the Water to Go. <laughs>
things that should happen to you We say we live by the golden rule Well, I'm no cynic, but I'm no fool I wasn't born Just a little fog and a little mist And the wind picks up and the snakes start to hit And it rains all night and it rains all day And no place for the water to go My God, the things that we do We betray our lovers and our best friends too We nickel and we dime ourselves to death We kick the small change and we A nice last chord. That's a very important. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Should always end with a nice sexy chord at the end of a song. <laughs> the Joe Milligan Project. They're our guests on today's live music showcase here from WMNF in Tampa. I'm Bill Dudley. And uh, these guys are doing a lot of different kinds of music here today. But, you know, you're, you're going to hear totally different kinds of stuff every week if you tune in this show on a regular basis. So, uh Watch our old shows on YouTube. Just type in WMNF 88.5 FM and you'll get to it. And you can be watching us live, of course, on Facebook at LMS WMNF. In the band today, we got Joe on the lead vocals and guitar. We've got uh, Doug on lead guitar, electric. Got Russell on the bass, Bill on the drums, Mandy on the backing and other vocals. And uh, Rebecca on the fiddle, putting in some great fills. So, hey, Rebecca, lean over to your mic there and tell us what you've been up to lately. I haven't seen you for a while. I, I've been staying busy with music. Uh, Doing a lot of, of sessions? And uh, a lot of private events. Uh, I teach in three different locations. And, uh, gosh, every, every month is different. You know, I'll be like a supporting violinist with various bands and songwriters. It's just varying. Well, we're happy to have you on the show Thank today. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, and best of luck with everything. We've got about, oh, I'd say about nine minutes to go. You think we can squeeze in maybe three or four more? Maybe we can. <laughs> <laughs> if we do, them, if we do them real fast, we'll do them like uh, polkas or bluegrass or something. <laughs> I'd like to do a, uh, I mentioned my son Patrick, happy birthday, the other uh, recent, uh, earlier in the show, doing a sh song called Alligator Shoes. I'd like to do a cover here um, for... Um, my daughter Sarah, when um, she was younger, um, I got a CD of uh, Jimmy Webb tunes that he did um, called, um, I think it's called Ten Easy Pieces, and it's just uh, um, Jimmy Webb doing these, these songs himself on the piano. Yeah, and I've got uh, that CD. That's a great CD. It's a great CD. Yeah. And he, uh, he wrote a lot of great songs. And uh, I've heard him um, talk about the song, and he, the song we're going to do is called The Moon's a Harsh Mistress. For, for and, people don't know who he is, he's the MacArthur Park guy. Right, and <laughs> and, and uh, well, he wrote a lot of things. He wrote uh, Wichita Lineman, 
Um, oh yeah, yeah, that's right. He wrote all the Glenn Campbell, uh, songs. all the Glenn Campbell things. Yeah, and um, so the um, the the moon is a harsh mistress. He said the the reference to the the moon being a harsh mistress was is that as a young man he had a lot of success very early on, and um, the uh, uh, and he said he made some kind of comment about it's, it's it was a common part of the culture is that we have a tendency to reach too far too fast, and I think he kind of hit a, a a tough period um, trying to deal with that. I thought it was based on a Robert Heinlein novel. I, I <laughs> he had one called that too. So the, uh, but anyway, I, I want to send this out to uh, my daughter Sarah. Sails across the sky, close enough to touch, but careful if you try. Oh, she looks as warm as gold. But I moans a harsh mystery. The moon can be so cold Oh, once the sun did shine Good Lord, it fell so fine Out of moon, a phantom road Over the mountains and the pines And then the darkness fell But I moans a harsh mystery So hard to love her well music from the Joe Milligan Project. They've been our guests today on the live music showcase here from WMNF in Tampa. This is a show that happens every Friday afternoon at 2.06 in the afternoon. You can watch our old shows on YouTube. You can watch us live on Facebook. And you can contribute to WMNF at the tip jar at WMNF.org. Actually, you can also listen to our uh, the audio from our shows on the archive at WMNF.org. And if you have any comments or questions about the show, feel free to give us an email at livemusic at WMNF.org. Well, we've just got about three and a half minutes here. You want to slide our last Good. tune in here if it's... Uh, we'll, we'll appropriately wrap it up with a song called uh, Last Word. 
And if it doesn't quite make it to the to that time, can you keep going around? Do we'll another chorus? Going. All right, good, good. Well, thanks for being on the show today. Thank you for having Thank us. We appreciate it. Yeah, you guys are really great. We've enjoyed it. Joe Milligan Project. Read it. Saturday night, played Jake and Slim, where we're smoking dope and selling lies with our trim. I parked the car down at a railroad track, between a TikTok bar and a beat up Cadillac. As I closed the door, I heard some strange all say, hey boy. I knew your mama in the way. I know that it was a long time ago. Before I had the sense to know, you keep the last words to yourself. You let the truth walk on along. The truth don't need. Guy and his blind side kick, telling everybody that they'd rather fight than drink. Now the Marble Man, he never had too much to say. He just climbed up on his high horse and he looked the other way. He never let on, just let his feelings show. Deep down inside, he know that the only way to roll was to keep the last word to yourself. You keep the last word to yourself. You keep the last word to yourself. You let the truth walk on along. The truth don't need you to find. The truth can find its way Oh my Lord The truth can find its way The other night, I think I figured it all out. A pithyanic moment in a crisis of doubt. The Marlboro Man said we all had some place to be. Some point of view, sometimes possessed by a certain day. A little love and kindness, there's no need to fight a child. Move like a man of peace And you're gonna move around And don't forget You kick the last word To yourself 
you keep the last word to yourself. You keep the last word to yourself. You let the truth walk on along. The truth. The truth don't need you, the truth doesn't need you, oh no. The truth don't need you, the truth doesn't need you.